Okay, so in our last video, we uh, did this wiring um, configuration here in order to make an LED blink uh, using Python. Um, and now instead of controlling the blinking uh, with a forever loop, we're going to add a push button to this so that we can uh, press a button to turn on the LED and uh, press it again to turn it off. So we're going to need a mail to mail jumper and we're going to go from one of these GPIO pins. Uh, I think I'm going to go from 12, but again it doesn't really matter as long as you know which one you're in. So I'm going to jump from pin uh, GPIO pin 12 down here to uh, row 45. Okay, and then I need a push button, which looks like this, and one of the plastic colored caps for the push button. So I'm going to just, and it doesn't matter what color you use, um, but you're going to snap that cap onto the button. So that um, when you depress it, you should hear a little click. And that button has four prongs on the underside. And we're going to position it so that we have two of our prongs on that row 45. Right? So two prongs are on row 45. And then I'm going to press that into my breadboard. So if I tilt it to the side here, you should see that I've got a prong um, on each side that is on row 45. Now the second uh, set of prongs is here on row 47. Okay, and that's going to be the ground. Right? Remember, we always have to go to ground to complete the circuit. So I'm going to need another mail-to-mail -mail jumper, um, preferably the same color as the ground jumper that you used for the LED. And I'm going to go from my row 47, right, which is the metal, I'll turn it to the side again so you can see, right, which is where that um, metal pin that I need to go to ground is positioned, and then I'm going to jump that over here to the ground rail, which is the blue one, and on this uh, side column here. And make sure there's a press thing. So now I've got my push button controlled by pin GPIO pin 12. Right? Um, that's jumping down here to row 45 where my button is plugged in. And then the out for my button is on row 47 and that's jumping out to the ground. Okay, so now we're back in uh, Thani with our Python program that we wrote to make the LEDs blink. And now instead of having them just blink uh, forever in a loop, we're going to control the, uh, the LED using a push button. So we're going to start by bringing in the button function from GPI 0. So from GPIO 0 import Oops. There we go. Import button. And then we need to tell the Raspberry Pi which GPIO pin that button is plugged into. So I have a, well, I'll call it R button since it's a red button. So R button is equal to button function, and then the pin that I used was GPIO pin 12. So the parameter that I'm going to put inside of that button function is the number of the GPIO pin, which is 12. 
Okay, the LED, the yellow LED is still in pin 21, so I'm going to leave that the same. And now I'm going to, um, inside of my while loop, and I'm going to change this. So now instead of it just turning on automatically, I'm going to use that uh, function telling it to wait until it sees a button press. So our button dot, and then the function call is wait underscore for underscore press. Okay, and that um, function to wait for the press was imported when we brought in that button uh, library from GPIO0. So our button wait for press. Um, then we'll turn on the LED and let it sleep. I think I'm going to let it sleep a little longer so it doesn't need multiple button presses from just one. And then um, instead of having it turn off right away, I'm going to have my button press come back and register another uh, button press. Okay, and then it'll turn off and we'll have it delay for a second to make sure it doesn't repeat those, um, those over and over again. Okay, so um, now when we run this, I'm going to go over here and look at the, look at the Raspberry Pi. And uh, with my code running, now I'm going to press the button and the light comes on. And then I press the button again, and the light goes off. Since this is in a forever loop, an infinite loop, right, I should be able to continue to press my button to turn the light on and off until I manually stop 